Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be doing a full face of Sisley makeup. I'm so excited. You guys know how much I love Sisley products. And they've just come out with a new pressed powder and they sent over two shades to me, two natural. So it comes in this beautiful compact and the natural color is uh, definitely natural for my skin tone. And then they sent over number four, bronze, which I'm hoping I'll be able to use as a really beautiful, kind of like neutral bronze. It looks very neutral in the pan, so I guess we'll just have to put it on and see. But I thought it would be a good opportunity to just do a full face of Sicily. I thought that would be a lot of fun. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started with primer. So Sicily is known for this primer. This is their uh, double tensor primer. This is a primer that I don't actually use that often, but when I have used it, wow, it really makes my foundation not only stay put, I want to say it really, really helps with the longevity of your foundation, but it just makes my foundation look really, really smooth. So I thought I would use it today and I'm just going to pump out like two pumps. That's usually kind of good enough. It has like a very gel-like consistency and I wouldn't say that this is specifically for any kind of skin type, but I have very dry sensitive skin and I would say I don't find this primer like to be moisturizing at all. I don't find it to be drying necessarily, but most primers that I gravitate towards, as you guys know, are very kind of moisturizing. I use it as kind of like a, another layer of moisture to just sort of help my skin get through the day without drying out. But my skin is feeling pretty good today. It's not feeling like super parched, surprise, surprised. So that's why I thought using this primer would be good today. And this primer definitely has a lot of tack. Do you see how <laughs> it's sticking? to my fingers, and I think that's what really helps with the longevity of foundation. So that is the Sisley Double Tensor. I mean, its reputation really precedes itself, so I won't go on any more with that. And then as for foundation, I I really love all, <laughs> all of the Sisley foundations I have, uh, but one that I haven't used in a while that I just, I love. It's my favorite cushion foundation and it is the Sicily, what do they call it? The Fito Blanc. So I have it in the shade three, light rose. And I'm actually surprised I don't need to like get a refill for this because you can kind of refill the cushion. It has this hole in the middle and when you press this button down, like the foundation comes out of there. So I just go ahead and use like my own little beauty sponge. It does come with like a puff, but <laughs> I think I've already lost mine. Yeah, because I always use a sponge. So I'm just gonna, Press this, get some foundation there, dip my sponge in, and then start patting away. I think my favorite thing about Sisley foundations is that they always have a decent amount of coverage, but it never feels or looks that way. Like it really is so, so skin-like. And I'm always like, oh, this doesn't have that much cover actually yeah it does it does actually have quite a bit of coverage but you just can't tell it's just so seamless on the skin all right there is the cushion foundation all over and like i said and like i've said before i just love it so much because it's so seamless but there's like this beautiful sort of like perfecting effect where i feel like I have coverage, but I still look like I don't have any makeup on. It's just magic. Sisley foundations are just magic. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I want to use the powder so badly. Um, I almost forgot about uh, concealer. And this is actually their Stila Lumiere. It's like a brightening pen. And if you guys have been with me for a while, late last year, I tried to just use this up and I was using it every single day and I just never used it up and I got tired <laughs> of using it. Um, so I have not used this in a while and there is still, there is still product in here. So it lives on, but I have this in shade number two. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my sponge. What is that? I have like a fuzzy <laughs> on my eye. Um, I'm just using my sponge since I use that for the foundation, but uh, with this, it's so light and creamy, I can use my finger to just blend it in and it blends in like a dream. You guys have seen me use this a gazillion times. All right, and now for the powder, let me just give you some details. So it comes in this box. You also get this red velvet pouch, so pretty. And the compact is 
in like the Sicily animal print, we have some zebra there. It's so cool. You guys know how much I love animal print. And then we have a nice mirror on the inside. So let me just take a look at some of the details here on the Sicily site. So the formula is enriched with cocoa, mango, and a type of butters that I can't pronounce, um, as well as hibiscus flower extract. It brings comfort and hydration to the skin, which is so great considering it's a powder. Um, it's exceptionally smoothing. It blurs wrinkles and fine lines while adhering perfectly to the skin for improved hold. Its texture is suitable for all skin types, providing unrivaled comfort throughout the day. Coverage is buildable for radiant, perfectly even, and beautified complexion to suit your mood. So there are three translucent shades, rosy, natural, sandy, and then the bronze is for bronze. So, all right, let's go ahead and put this on my face. I'm really, really excited. They of course recommend using the powder puff, which I, I won't use. I <laughs> usually use a brush. I'm not always the biggest fan of a powder puff. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the shade Too Natural. So here's what Too Natural looks like. Let me see, ooh, wow. It's very, very soft. Oh my. I'm gonna swatch it, but we'll <laughs> it's a really, really heavy swatch of powder. So that seems slightly ridiculous, but it does look very, very smooth. And even though it's mattifying, I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a little bit of a sheen to this powder. Ooh, ooh, that looks very, very enticing. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Chikahoto brush. I will link to all my brushes and everything down below and everything that I have on my face down below in my description box. But this is the KZ-01 powder brush. I love this brush so much. So anyway, let me go ahead and just pick up a little bit of the powder and I'm gonna start just right underneath my eyes and I'm pouncing and now I'm gonna go ahead and sweep any excess away. And I'm just starting here because I like to see what it does to my under eyes and I have larger pores right here so I like to see what it does with everything that's going on in this part of my face. Oh, I think it does a really nice job blurring I'm gonna zoom in here. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm actually gonna back away from the light a little bit too. So here it is with the powder and here it is without. And hopefully you guys can see that like blurring difference there. Ooh, this side looks a lot smoother. So here it is with powder and then here it is without. Wow, I feel like there's actually quite a bit of difference. Okay, I'm gonna keep applying here. I love that it doesn't have this like really flat matte finish. I definitely feel like it has like helped mattify the side of my face, but I don't feel like it looks dry. And I know it's said that it's gonna give you kind of like this velvety finish. I think it's a little bit creamier looking than a velvet finish. That is just my humble observation, but that's what I feel like I'm seeing on this side. Wow, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm loving the blurring that it's doing over my pores here. It's a little bit, it's a little bit early because I just <laughs> put this powder on, but I'm gonna make a very bold statement. I think I like this powder just as much as the Chantecaille Perfect Blur Powder. This Chantecaille Perfect Blur Finishing Powder, this one, this does a fantastic job blurring. I feel like this powder has the same effect. And I'm even gonna take it one step further. This is a baked kind of formula. This is simply like a pressed powder formula. This powder is a lot easier to pick up. You can use pretty much any kind of brush where I feel like with the Chantecaille, you have to use a brush that's really going to be able to pick up baked products like a natural haired brush or a brush that's like fairly dense. And I think this powder probably a little bit more versatile. Again, we just put this powder on. I will leave a pinned comment down below because I am gonna have this makeup on all day. I just can't do like check-ins and stuff because I'm gonna be out. So anyway, I'm gonna leave a pinned comment down below letting you know how this wore, but so far, so far, I'm liking it just as much as this blur powder. And I like the fact that it's just a regular pressed powder versus a baked powder even more. All right, moving on, let's go ahead and try the number four bronze version. So let me actually swatch this. This will probably make more sense. Ooh, so it's really, really creamy and I love that finish to it. Just a really subtle kind of satin sheen. Oh, it's gorgeous. 
It is really, really gorgeous. And I'm looking at this powder again. I feel like if I get the lightest shade, maybe you could even use it as a really subtle highlight. I mean, do you see that? It's beautiful. Oh my God. Okay, let's get this bronze on my face. So I've got my refer number 22 brush here. Pick up some of this bronzer. There's the shade there. Ooh, okay. It's a little bit deeper than I thought. Oh, that's nice. So I think if you have a medium skin tone, I think this will definitely work for you. Ooh, so smooth. And the tone is really nice. I think I'm picking up a little bit of a red undertone to this bronze, a little bit. Ooh, that's really, really nice. Ooh, and it's so smooth. I'm just gonna put a little bit across my nose here. Yeah, I can see it in my swatch now. I definitely feel like it has a really nice red undertone. Oh, I love it. I love how smooth it is. And I feel like if you use, obviously if you use a lighter hand, if you have a lighter skin tone than I do, I think it'll work for you. But I think this will work for a medium skin tone as well. You can see how, well, I think I applied more on this side than this side. But you can see how like deep it can get. I really, I really went a little heavy handed there. Let me try and even it out a little. Let me just compare this uh, bronze tone to their like bronzing gel powder, which is just such a fantastic formula. The tone of this gel powder, I think is, is warmer, but let's go ahead and do a swatch. It also has a much brighter sheen to it. Yeah, I think this one is much warmer. See how this one has that little red underneath? This is definitely warmer. It has that like orange tinge to it and you can see how much kind of more metallic this bronzing powder has, the gel one. I really like it. In fact, I like the tone of this more than the tone of this. I love the formula of this. I love the sheen that it gives. I think if you're going for something really warm, like at the height of summer, it's great. But this, I think, is just a little bit more like wearable. You know, it's just not quite as orangey as this one. All right, and before we move on from powder, I didn't mean to like blow right by the Sisley Blur Expert powder in terms of comparisons, but I didn't think of this because I use this powder as more of a primer than I do as kind of like a blurring powder um, because this has, again, this kind of has like a baked kind of situation going on. Whenever I use this over foundation in terms of like a setting powder or whatever, I found it to be just a little bit too thick and it also has quite a bit of pigment in there and I felt like it deepened up my foundation. Um, but I do love using this as a primer because it is a wonderful kind of like smoothing and pore blurring. It's really, really great. So I did want to mention that again, I didn't mean to like just blow by <laughs> the Sicily powder itself and jump straight to the Chantecai. But a lot of people always ask me, you know, to compare these two. And I just, I use this over my foundation. I use this under my foundation. So to me, this one is a little bit in my mind similar to this Sicily powder. All right, and for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Sicily Orchid like highlighting blush. I have it in the shade number three, which is the coral one. And it's just oh, it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous blush. And I mentioned this one in my All About My Blushes video. And since then, I've been like wanting to use it. So here we are. So I've got my refer number five brush. I just dipped it in here a little bit and it's so, so pigmented. So I'm just gonna dust a little bit on my cheeks here, get my hair out of the way. So beautiful, so like fresh faced and it's so pigmented. I literally just dipped my brush in it once and you saw how much pigment ended up on there. So Sisley doesn't have like, like a highlight product, you know, like a powder with like a metallic finish. Um, they do have like one of their um, cream sticks. They do have like a highlight in that. I don't actually have that, but I really don't think I need a highlight. I think there was a nice amount in this blush. And I do think that in this uh, powder, there's just such a lovely satin finish that's now kind of all over my face. So I'm just gonna stick with that. Um, so let's go ahead and move on to eyebrows. All right, now I've talked about this Sisley eyebrow pencil quite a bit because it is a very soft pencil and I feel like I have to be very, very careful when I use it. So it's not my, 
it's not my favorite eyebrow product, but it's not, it's not horrible. So this is like their three in one uh, brow pencil. So it has a pencil at one end, which has that kind of like angled tip and it's like teardrop shaped. And then there is a spoolie at the other end. And then in the middle is like a little powder highlighting like puff. So you can kind of like outline your eyebrows. I don't use that center product too often. I usually just kind of stick with the pencil and the spoolie. So I have it in the shade Brun, which I think is the darkest. It's a very, very dark brown. It's almost, almost black. You know what? I'm gonna swatch it for you so you can see, so you can see how pigmented it is. <laughs> It is for an eyebrow pencil. It looks kind of like an eyeliner, doesn't it? So again, I'm just going to be really kind of careful with this. I think Sisley has like brow gels that I've never tried. Am I remembering that correctly? I think they do have either a brow gel or a brow gel that's like clear. And then they also have tinted ones. Anyway, I should look into that and maybe try that product from them. All right, I took it really easy with the brows, but I think they look pretty good. I'm wondering if I should try and use this center powder product. Just does a really nice job, kind of like highlighting. It's almost just like a creamy satin finish, kind of like eyeshadow almost. Let me see if I can buff that out a little. It's a little stark. I don't know if that did much, but I can see it. Actually, you can see it, I think, in the light. It's like kind of re reflecting right there. Let's move on to eyeshadow. So I have a lot of those Sisley, uh, like their single shadows. So I pulled out uh, number 10, Silky Cream. And I think I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. If you want a one and done shadow, these Sisley ones are amazing as well. And then I also pulled out one of their Fito Eye Twist, and this is in the shade number four. So I thought maybe I could kind of smoke out my lash line with that, maybe use it as like an eyeliner. Uh, we'll see. But let's go ahead and use this Silky Cream. And these are like little baked eyeshadows. Oh, they're so beautiful. The formula is amazing. So you can use your finger to apply it. You can use a brush to apply it. If you do use a brush, I would definitely like with most baked products, I would use something that's firm, maybe a little bit dense, something that picks up a lot of product. Um, so I am going to, I think I'm gonna use my finger. I'm gonna go ahead and just use my, my ring finger here and just tap this on. But I just love like this bright, kind of like creamy shade of this number 10. Okay, so there's the number 10 applied. Oh, it's such a creamy formula. It really kind of goes on and behaves like a cream shadow. These are just so incredible. Okay, moving on to this pencil. I think what I'm gonna do is run like a brush over this pencil and then apply it with a brush uh, along my lash line because these do set down and once they set down, they don't really budge. So let me see, which brush should I use? I'm gonna use my Sonia G Worker 3 brush. Normally I would use the Worker 2, but that's if I want it all over my lid. The Worker 3 is like a little bit, this one is like a little bit more petite. I don't want anything too dramatic. So I'm gonna do something pretty light and then I'm just gonna drag this over my lash line. Right, just something really subtle. Just a really, really <laughs> subtle kind of smokiness to the upper lid here. And then I'm just gonna take this pencil, I'm gonna tight line a little bit here. And then I'm just gonna add some to my waterline. All right, super simple eye look achieved. Um, I don't have any Sisley mascara. That's probably my least favorite Sisley makeup product. Their mascaras just haven't worked for me. They um, end up kind of flaking a lot on my eyes. So I have a ton of mascaras that I have open. So I'm gonna use my Chantecaille Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara. Uh, but let me go ahead and curl my lashes first.
All right, and on to lips. So the Sisley lip liner, this is my hands down favorite lip liner out of anyone. It is the most magical formula ever because it goes on like really, really soft, really, really creamy, and then it sets and it doesn't feel dry at all. It's so magical. So I'm using the shade Beige Naturel, and it's just a pencil that you sharpen, and then it's got a brush at the other end. And now I've got my Lafito Rouge in number 11. This is like a gorgeous, gorgeous nude shade. And it's worth noting that this packaging is a beautiful match <laughs> to the powder. Uh, but let me go ahead and apply this. This is one of my favorite matte lipstick formulas. As you guys know, I'm not the biggest matte lipstick person, but these are so, so comfortable. And yeah, they do look matte on the lips, but they don't look... They don't make your lips look like puckery. <laughs> it's just a really, really great moisturizing formula. All right, there is number 11 on my lips. So this is what it looks like, you know, all on its own with the lip liner, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply some lip gloss because I have to. <laughs> so uh, Cicely just came out with these lip glosses that I love. They are the Lafito Gloss, and this is shade number one. So this is just a great, topper if you just want to add a little a little something because it has like little let me show you actually it has like little teeny tiny kind of glitter micro glittery particles in there but it just has this like milky kind of like transparent look to it so anyway let me go ahead and i'm going to apply some to the back of my hand here and this is just to avoid kind of dirtying up this uh, doe foot so i put some on the back of my hand and i'm just going to take my finger pick some up and then dab it on. And as I was dabbing on this lip gloss, I just got a new nail color. <laughs> I think it's pretty much the same. Isn't that funny? This is a gel against, again, I'll list this down below in my description box, but this is a gel against uh, shade. It's called Pumpkin Spice Season. I think it's an old color, but your salon probably has it. All right, so here is a full face of Sisley makeup. And just to kind of recap the new powders, I think they are incredible. I absolutely love the number two natural for my skin tone. I think it does such an amazing job smoothing and blurring. I mean, it looks airbrushed under here. And the bronze color is really, really fantastic, I think, for light skin tones all the way up to medium because it is definitely buildable. <laughs> And I really like that kind of reddish undertone. It's just really, really natural. It's very pretty. I think it blends into blush really easily. Gorgeous. So I'm loving these powders. So I will leave a pinned comment down below just to let you know how it wears during the day. I'm gonna try and keep an eye on it, but I am gonna be out and about quite a bit today. And it's pretty warm here in Vegas still. So we'll see how this holds up. But so far, and it's been about an hour, it is Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm really, really impressed with like this blurring action. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.